This video illustrates the evolution of protected left turns in signal controlled intersections. Early on, most intersections didn't have separate signals for left turns. If there are situations where traffic would back up trying to make left turns, oftentimes an additional segment was added to the signals that had a left arrow. Before all the traffic could move, that left arrow would display, cars could clear the intersection, and then once the green ball reappeared, traffic could still make a left turn. However, it was back to the old rule that you had to yield to oncoming traffic. At some intersections, it was not desirable to allow traffic to make left turns after the protected interval was over. In those situations, the typical left arrow would show. However, after the left turn interval was over, instead of having a green ball, a double arrow would indicate that traffic could move straight or turn right. In jurisdictions that just use two color signals, a three section signal might be used in which case the third section, the bottom section, the one that we would typically expect to be green, would show the protected left arrow. The remaining center section would be the green light. It's kind of strange to pull up to a signal that had green in the middle. However, if you are used to seeing two color traffic signals, it would not be so odd. Eventually, engineers determined that it was important to give notice to traffic making protected left turns that their interval was ending. So a new requirement came out that there be a yellow arrow after the green arrow. This created what we now commonly call a doghouse signal. The arrows indicate that there's a protected turn. Yellow means that protected turn is ending, heads up. The green ball means that through traffic can proceed and left turns can continue provided they yield to oncoming traffic. Eventually it was decided that arrowed indications needed to be more visible. The 8 inch arrows were sometimes hard to distinguish in bad weather. So the standard was changed that all arrow indications be 12 inch. So the modern dog houses that you'll see today are 12 inch and also where there are post mounted signals often on the far left corner you'll see a five section inline signal that shows the protected left turn movement as well as the through movement. The most recent evolution in the permissive left turn is what's called the yellow trap signal. There's more complete descriptions about all these different signals. If you look on my channel, you can find them. But basically, what the yellow trap signal does is it provides a green interval. When that interval uh, expires, the lower of the two yellow arrows will flash, indicating that left turns are still permitted, but you have to yield on coming traffic. Then when that terminates, a solid yellow above the flashing yellow stays on for three seconds, and then the light turns red. <laughs> 